The United States Air Force US, will launch a new high-tech stealth bomber. The new stealth bomber, named the B-21 Raider, is said to be able to carry both nuclear and conventional weapons and is designed to fly unmanned. The B-21 Raider, which is the newest U.S. bomber in recent decades, will gradually replace the B-1 and B-2 that have been in service since the Cold War era. Northrop Grumman said, the B-21 Raider is classified as a sixth-generation aircraft that has a breakthrough in stealth technology. It has advanced networking capabilities and an open system architecture. The B-21 aircraft is optimized for high-end threat environments. The production of the B-21 reportedly costs up to nearly US$700 million, ERP $10.7 trillion, per unit of aircraft. This next-generation stealth bomber was launched at the Northrop Grumman Weapons Manufacturing Facility in California during a grand ceremony attended by high-ranking U.S. officials. The U.S. Air Force plans to buy at least 100 B-21 aircraft, each of which costs 700 million U.S. dollars, nearly IDR 11 trillion, according to a Northrop Grumman spokesperson. The B-21 will be the backbone of our future bomber force. The aircraft will have the range, access, and payload to penetrate the most threat-ridden environments and put any target worldwide at risk. B-21 manufacturer Northtop Grumman said six of the aircraft are currently in separate assembly and testing stages at its Palmdale facility, California, which is the location of the plane. Much of the stealth bomber's specifications are kept secret but it is thought to be a significant improvement over other bombers already in the U.S. fleet. Among the new capabilities offered by the B-21 is the potential for unmanned flight. Stefanik said the stealth bomber was prepared to fly unmanned, but no decision has been made to fly unmanned. The aircraft also has an open architecture intended to make upgrading easier and faster. The open architecture allows for better software integration, including autonomy, so the aircraft doesn't wear out quickly. The B-21 is much more attractive than its predecessor, really modern. Not only is it dual capable, which means it can launch nuclear missiles or conventional weapons, the aircraft can also launch long-range and short-range missiles. Just like the F-22 and F-35 fighter jets, the B-21 bomber is also equipped with stealth technology which minimizes the aircraft's characteristics through its shape and manufacturing materials, which makes it more difficult for the enemy to detect. The B-21 is capable of flying without a pilot, but the U.S. Air Force said the plane was prepared for the possibility, but no decision has been made to fly it unmanned. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades, said U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. The B-21 Raider carries a flying wing shape similar to its predecessor. The aircraft will be capable of carrying conventional and nuclear weapons around the world using its long-range and aerial refueling capabilities. Northrop Grumman hailed the new aircraft as the backbone of our future bomber force. The aerospace and design firm says the long-range bomber's first flight is expected in 2023. The Pentagon targets the B-21 Raider to be able to fly thousands of miles to engage long-range enemies as well as evade the detection radars of today's most advanced air defenses.